One of the many things that I love about using the Axe Effects is you can approach building a rig in an orthodox fashion or you can be completely unorthodox about it, often in ways that would just not translate to the real world. For example, a really typical sort of rig construction in the real world is using a really clean amp like this ODS-100 Clean. And then chucking a drive pedal in front of it like here's the classic Tube Screamer. That actually sounds pretty cool. And, you know, there are like endless threads on internet forums about like, you know, which Tube Screamer variant should I use? Which drive pedal is going to work the best with my amp? But one thing that I've noticed a little bit on pedal boards in the real world are people using preamp pedals. I just did a demo of the Apex preamp, which is by Misha Mansour from Peripheries uh, company, Horizon Devices. And it got me thinking, you know, how would I emulate this in the Axe FX? So rather than use a drive pedal, I would use another amp block. And this is pretty fun and uh, good luck trying to do this in the real world. Essentially, all you have to do in the setup is select an amp model. I've got the Friedman BE at the moment. You can see that I've already been playing around with it a little bit. And what you want to do is go into the power amp section, not the power amp section, the power supply section. Normally, the supply sag would somewhere uh, be somewhere around here. Uh, turn that off. What this does is it disables the power amp in there. So... Now we're just using the preamp of the Friedman BE. I know uh, Tosin Abasi from Animals as Leaders is now using like a clean Morgan amplifier and he's using the Friedman BE overdrive pedal for his main distorted sound. So we can try to cop that by using the Friedman BE Axe FX model and then turning the power amp in and off. So now we're just using the preamp. Let's have a listen to what it does. I'm going to turn the level right down and we'll just have a listen to what it does to our clean sound. which I think sounds surprisingly good. It's got a very similar vibe going on to that Apex preamp. I mean, you could choose a different amp model. Let's say we wanted to go with the 5153 100 watt blue, go into the power supply, turn the supply sag down, and let's turn the level down as always so we don't accidentally blow our ears up. I think that sounds really cool. One big advantage, well, actually, there's two big advantages here. You know, I know some of you are going to be sitting there going, why don't you just put this amp block here and switch between them? Then you've got the 5150 with its own power amp, and then you've got the Dumble, you know, doing its thing. But one thing I like about this is if you set up your input drive and level correctly, you don't have to worry about trying to, like, match the sound of the two amps so they're at the same level. Because of the gain staging, we've got this distortion basically this preamp going into a clean amp. And this is going to put a limit on how loud we can get because the power amp section is going to start to compress. I've actually got a little bit of output compression going on in there anyway to help with that. So let's have a listen to it bypassed and then on. <laughs> Which is awesome, right? You don't have to spend all that time fiddling around with getting your levels right. So that's a big plus. The other big plus, of course, is that we've got things like the input boost. For example, if I want to chuck a tube screamer as like an additional boost, if you're familiar with something like the Apex preamp, this might be the tight control. Let's do that. <laughs> Let's 
One that I really like is the grinder boost, especially if you turn the level up. <laughs> And there's also things like the input EQ. One thing that a lot of drive pedals do is they filter out a lot of low end and a lot of high end. The reason people like boosting high gain amps with drive pedals is that uh, not only are you taking out a lot of like mud that's just going to get amplified and distorted, you're also kind of smoothing everything out. So uh, you can turn the low cut up in this guy and bring the high cut down as well. Uh, you know, don't be afraid to bring it below 5K. This is what it does. <laughs> which is pretty fun. You can also play around with more subtle sounds. Let's choose uh, an amp that sort of gives you like a nice edge of breakup kind of sound. Uh, let's go with like some kind of Fender amp maybe. I like the mm, Fender amps, Fender amps. I actually really like the Blues Junior. Uh, so we'll choose that one, the Junior Blues Fat. Power supply off right there. Let's have a listen to what this does to our sound. I'll just bring the level down again. course I could use another of the ODS models like let's use this HRM model and again we will turn the power amp off level down there's quite a few popular preamp pedals that are you know they kind of set out to emulate that dumble thing so yeah you can run a dumble into a dumble in drop c why not that's part of the fun with the axe effects so hopefully this gives you guys some ideas this setup is really great as well if you're running your axe effects into a clean amp and uh, you kind of have been having a hard time getting a good sound with the drive pedals try an amp block with the power amp simulation off again it's in the power supply section you turn supply sag all the way off i hope this video was interesting and useful please feel free to weigh in uh, in the comment section and I will see you guys real soon. Thanks for watching.